welcome to sql tutorial video series in this uh, video i will discuss about the indexes uh, which is the very important topic for the sql as per the for the uh, sql performance point of view so how you can increase the performance so uh, by using the indexes we can uh, achieve the performance of the code and performance of the query and uh, you will not achieve any requirement okay so indexes is basically a use only for to increase the performance of the code so last video series uh, last video i discuss about the uh, constraint so in detail how you can create the constraint and how you can apply into the table so if you not get the chance uh, first you can watch the constraint because uh, I'm going to all this video series uh, one by one so you will not miss anything uh, related to the SQL so in this video I will discuss about the index in the detail and next video I will discuss about the advanced index so like the what is the heap table what is the filter index what is the column store index uh, what is table scan index seek so all I will discuss in video number 20 but in video number 19 I will discuss basic of this uh, indexes and uh, how we can create the cluster index uh, how you can create the non cluster index uh, what is the major difference between the cluster index and the uh, non cluster index because this is the common interview question what is the major difference between the cluster index and uh, non cluster index so uh, let's jump with with the uh, definition of the indexes so what exactly index is there okay so index is basically a uh, the uh, part of the object of the database uh, which is used to uh, quickly retrieve the data from the database so the indexes will be work the same like the books uh, we have the indexes like uh, suppose if you have any books and uh, there is no indexes is there then uh, it will take time to search any of the topic like suppose if you searching the uh, topic like the uh, uh, in the SQL database book have and constraint you searching so if there is no indexes in the books so you, it will take time uh, to search the chapter number of the indexes but if you have the indexes uh, you can directly jump to the page number and you can start the reading in the same way if you create the indexes in a table the data will be retrieved very fast because in the real time uh, all the user want the data quickly if any application or the software which is taking time to retrieve the data the uh, the user will stop working the application or the software or the app okay so the main the reason of the any database developer or the sql developer to increase the performance of the indexes that is the reason index is a very important uh, part of the uh, sql part so by using the index provided you can create the index you can alter the index and you can drop the index anytime okay so let's start with the type of the index so what is how many types of the index is there so there are two types of the index one is the cluster index and the second one is the non cluster index so what is the cluster index and what is the non cluster index so first i will discuss what is the cluster index so cluster index is basically is a, a b tree computed indexes uh, that is the uh, follow b tree structure uh, which is arranged the row physically in the memory and sorted order so basically when you create the indexes the index table data will be sorted physically in the memory and sorted the data into the ascending order okay so when you create the primary key last video i already discussed how you can create the primary key so when you create the primary key automatically cluster indexes is created this is a very important concept because uh, when you create the primary key automatically cluster index is created and last video i already discussed the only one primary key you can create in a table like the same you can create only one cluster index in a table the reason the reason will ask you in the interview why we create the only one cluster index in a table the reason is the data is physically sorted into the memory so once the data is sorted uh, you cannot sort the second time because if you sort the second time 
the first sorted will be uh, not work okay that is the reason we can create only one uh, primary primary key and only one cluster index in a table so let's jump with the sql server management studio and understand how the data is sorting physically in the table so i have the sql server management studio now i am going to create one table for the cluster index so my table name is employee index and the uh, column name is the employee id name and the salary so once you create this uh, table okay so now you can see this table is created and i am going to insert some of the data manually so uh, the uh, the employee id is the 15423 means this is not in the order data okay this is not the uh, sorted data so whatever the sequence you inserted the value in that sequence uh, the data will be so in the output the reason is there is no primary key or cluster index is created so now you can see the first employee id 1 is coming then 5 is coming then 4 is coming 2 and coming 3 is coming so whatever this in the order i inserted the data in the same order data is populating into the table so if you apply the cluster index so what is the syntax to create the cluster index you need to write the create cluster index and the index name okay you can give the any type of the name but in the real time uh, we always give the ix underscore table name so we can figure it out uh, that this is the uh, this is the indexes created for this table or you also you can include the index name with the column name like underscore the employee id like index 1 underscore the employee id so you will get better understanding by using seeing the this name that uh, this index is created on this table and this column and how put you need to put on and the table name and the within the bracket you need to put the column name okay what column you going to insert the create the cluster index so once you created the cluster index now you can see uh if you now if you retrieve the data you can see physically data i got order but previously this data was not ordered okay so this when you create the cluster index physically data will be sorted into the table only okay so this is the all about the cluster index now uh, coming back to the non cluster index okay so what is the non cluster index so non cluster index is basically created automatically when you create the unique key constraint and since unique key constraint uh, you can create as many the no restriction is there same like non cluster index you can create as many the no restriction is there you can create more than one non cluster index in a table and non cluster index will not sort physically data in the order so basically they will not sort the data uh, in the back end they create the row id and they store into the memory so whenever the data value will be retrieved so they will pick up the value so that is the reason cluster index is much faster than non cluster index and uh, we have uh, non cluster index you can create uh, more than one, uh, one non cluster index so we have uh, 999 non cluster index you can create in sql server 2005 but in the uh, 19 we have the no restriction is there so let's see uh, the real time uh, demonstration with the how you can uh, use the uh, non cluster index so uh, i'm creating one table which is the non cluster index and uh, inserting some data okay so same like the cluster index like 1 5 4 uh, 2 3 so now you can see the data got inserted and this table i have this uh, this table we have the data like uh, whatever the format we inserted in the, the same format we have the non cluster data is inserted so the syntax to create the non cluster index simply you can use the create non cluster index and the index name and the table name and the column name so once you create the non cluster index again if you try to uh, retrieve the table you can see data will be not sorted okay so you can see whatever the data is there that data is there data will be not sorted here okay so uh, so basically when you retrieve the something the information like employee id 2 they generated this some row id of each row and when you execute it 
it will they will populate from that uh, particular uh, value whatever they stored so that is the reason the cluster index is much faster than non cluster index so let's see some more and uh, in the detail uh, what is the core difference between major difference between uh, cluster index and non cluster index so as we i already discussed that uh, when you create the primary key uh, automatically cluster index get created when you create the uh, uh, unique key non cluster index created this is the first difference second one this will this will arrange the row physically in the memory this will not arrange the physically in the memory this will faster in searching cluster index is always faster as compared to non cluster index and uh, so cluster index will be create index for the table uh, that is the you can create only one uh, cluster index but uh, non cluster index you can create more than one non cluster index so uh, basically this is the core difference between the cluster index and non cluster index uh, i already provided you the uh, live uh, real time scenario how data is sorted how data is retrieving in the next video i will discuss it in more about this uh, uh, indexing part that is the i will cover in advanced uh, indexes that is the index seek index scan uh, execution plan column store indexes uh, filter indexes so uh, thank you for the watching this video we'll meet again in next video thank you so much